extended warranties, vehicle service contracts, prepaid maintenance. Is it worth getting this stuff from a car dealer finance office? Five critical questions help you nail it down. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, also known as The Homer Guy and author of Is That the Best You Can Do? This video brought to you by YouTube's best channel on car buying and selling, courtesy of The Homer Guy team and our super high intensity training for car buyers. If you like the Homer Guy videos, check the merch shelf down below if you want to sport some of our awesome swag like this one right here. You just got done negotiating the price of your car and your salesman shakes your hand and says, I'm glad we made a deal or it's a pleasure doing business with you. You breathe that big sigh of relief. <sighs> this is where many car buyers fall into the trap of thinking it's over. However, a visit to the number one profit producer in the dealership is coming up next. The person known as the F&I manager or finance and insurance office. You still have to sign a car contract before you leave, right? Today, we're going to focus on a couple of specific plans that are going to land on the desk in front of you. Prepaid maintenance plans, vehicle service contracts, or anything that resembles what is widely known as extended car warranty. While extended warranty may not be the technical name for a plan that you're offered, everyone knows exactly what we're talking about. We'll jump right in, right after this short message from the Homework Guy team. If you're a first timer on the Homework Guy channel, consider subscribing and leaving us a comment below. Add hashtag the Homework Guy if you'd like a response directly from Kevin or one of the Homework Guy staff members. We're always glad to help our loyal followers and the best part is there's no charge. You can also email the team at info at the with a specific question or if you'd like a free contract review, just black out your personal information and send it to us. We'd love to hear from you. Just be aware that we do get a lot of requests, so just be patient while you wait for a response. Back to you, Kevin. Extended car warranties, also known as vehicle service contracts, can provide peace of mind to people purchasing a new car. Auto dealerships are particularly fond of them because they add an additional profit center for the dealer. First, let's cover some basics. Simply put, an extended car warranty is repair coverage that kicks in after the typical manufacturer auto warranty has expired. It is widely understood that an extended auto warranty will cover most major breakdowns and will, in theory, prevent you from busting your budget with the cost of parts and labor associated with car repairs. Sometimes an extended warranty is available through an automaker. In other cases, they are third-party administrators. Here's an important fact for you to understand. At any time, either when you buy the vehicle or at a later date, you have the option to purchase additional coverage, especially if the manufacturer warranty hasn't expired. You're under no pressure to buy it today or from the dealer you're sitting at, even if the finance guys say so. You can purchase an extended warranty after the manufacturer warranty expires, but you should expect to pay a higher price for it then. Now, are you a good fit for an extended warranty or prepaid maintenance or a vehicle service contract? You should expect the finance office to put a lot of pressure on you to buy one of these plans. And it starts with questions like, how long do you plan to keep your car? Or do you worry about breaking down? And you need to protect your investment. All questions and comments should be understood to be sales speak, not advice. They aren't valid concerns. As if the finance manager is more concerned about your car and your livelihood than you are. Right. So ignore all that pressure and fake concern and instead concentrate on five critical questions. Number one, what have you typically paid for repair costs in the past? Have you had good experiences with car choices you've made or bad experiences? If you've had bad luck, I certainly hope you're not buying the same kind of car again. You're not, are you? On the other hand, if you've had a great experience with your car choices and never even had so much as a flat tire, why are you buying road hazard, glass coverage, maintenance plans, and worried about a warranty? I've never bought a warranty, but I also had an amazing record of buying great cars, and I always do my homework on reliability. I base my decision also on how much I've spent out of pocket on repairs, even if I've had to fix my vehicles. Have I had expenses in the hundreds of dollars or has it been in the thousands of dollars? If you've spent big money on repairs or a small amount on repairs, either way, you have to weigh that against the cost of the extended warranty. Of course, you won't have the same repair history on any two vehicles, but if you are buying a vehicle from the same car maker, it stands to reason you're not going to be clueless about what you might spend. Number two, do you know what's actually covered? Most extended warranties are not all-encompassing. 
The repair that you fear most may not be covered at all. Also, many wear and tear parts. Items that typically break or wear out are not covered by most vehicle extended warranties. To complicate things more, most extended warranties come in coverage packages, which sound like good, better, best, or silver, gold, platinum. Each plan has its own price and level of coverage. Take the time to read the fine print to determine what is and isn't covered. You also need to know who will front the cost for the repair bill. Are the repairs fully covered? Do you have to pay a small deductible or one of those great big fat ones? Is it possible that you might be paying for repairs out of pocket and then have to submit these costs for reimbursement later? Some warranties are set up like that. That's how some of them work. You also have to know if you can take the vehicle to any repair shop. Many third-party warranty providers limit the repairs to only the dealership or repair shop specified in the contract. Make sure that you know. Number three, who guarantees the extended car warranty you're buying? Third-party warranty companies have a very sketchy track record, but that doesn't stop dealers from selling them. If you are going to purchase an extended car warranty from the dealer, we recommend that you make sure that it's backed by the automaker, not just the dealership or some other company. Manufacturer-backed extended warranties are good at any franchise dealer around the country who carries the same make of vehicles. A third-party vehicle contract, on the other hand, is commonly only good at the dealership that sold it to you. Not always, but it's a typical trap. If you are considering an extended warranty for a specific purpose, check for online reviews to see what others are saying about it. There's a lot written about any warranty that you might be looking at. Number four. Do you really need a warranty? F&I managers are great at making you feel like a complete idiot for saying no to an extended warranty, as if you're engaging in some form of financial suicide, driving away without their product. While it's true that a cost of repair bill can come along, cars are being built more reliable than ever before. When you consider how many people actually use the warranty they bought, data supports the idea that most people don't need one. J.D. Power studies support showing several vehicles steadily improving in reliability. You've also heard me say several times that you ought to be considering just putting aside a few dollars each month to cover repairs. The fact that many people get caught in a bad place is simply due to the fact that they did nothing to plan ahead. I totally agree with Dave Ramsey's advice that you should be setting aside half of what you'd expect to pay for an extended warranty and then have the discipline to use that money for the repairs it was intended to cover. For some of you, you can't sleep at night unless you're insured every which way from Sunday. You'll buy an extended warranty because it seems convenient, even if it's very costly. You'd rather be comfortable having an insurance-based plan to cover repairs, and that's fine. Just make sure you ask the right questions before you decide to get an extended warranty. Number five, have you done your homework so that you know the best price for a warranty? Trying to shop for extended warranties while you're sitting in the finance office is a little too late. Sure, you can sit there for 30 minutes checking things out, but proper research is best done long before visiting the dealership. The F&I manager at the dealership at which you're buying the vehicle might say that the price of the extended warranty is not negotiable. That's rarely ever true. If you check with other dealers, you'll find that some of them do have a lower asking price for the same exact product. Expect the finance office to be willing to negotiate. Keep in mind that the only benefit to getting an extended auto warranty at the time of your vehicle purchase is that you can wrap your warranty's cost into your financing. But unless you've shopped in advance and can negotiate a lower price for the extended warranty on the spot, this route is likely to cost you a lot more money in the long run. Here's how you can get that. Get a price quote from the finance office for the warranty you want before you visit the dealership and then shop it around by phone to other dealerships. You'll be surprised how low many will go and with what you can learn about the different packages and the actual warranty cost. After you've done your homework and discovered what the actual cost of the warranty is, if you still want it, make an offer that isn't a cent over $300 above the actual cost of the warranty. You heard me right. You can buy any warranty on the market at $300 over actual cost. The truth is many warranties without any negotiation are offered at prices even double what the actual cost is. Don't pay that big fat price. If you want the warranty, always negotiate it. Never roll over and pay what you're asked on the first pass. As return viewers through the Homer Guy channel know, there are tons of videos on this channel. We've done all of this so that you can learn from us 
We see questions on a daily basis in the comment section that were addressed on videos quite some time ago on the channel. No problem. Just make sure you check out all of the great videos we have. We've gone to a lot of work to help you out. So use those resources we put out there for you. All right, if you've learned something today and you appreciate the video, consider giving us that great big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Include hashtag the homework guy. Share the video on social media with your friends and make sure to join us on Facebook and Twitter too. We post notifications and other updates on our other social media sites and answer car buyer questions there too. If you love what we do and want to say thanks for the tip, well, the PayPal and Cash App links you see appearing on the screen now will be easy to find in the description box below. Can't do a tip? Well, no problem. You can say thanks by sharing our videos with your family and friends and by encouraging others to subscribe to the channel. That is huge. It's one of the most important things you can do as a loyal follower and viewer on the Homework Guy channel. We appreciate everything you do to help us get the word out and defeat the bad guys still hanging on in the car business who haven't learned that fairness and honesty is the best model. Thanks everyone for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter. Until next time, take care, everyone.